beautiful life raft piece, uh, micro vessel here. God bless you. I hope that you uh, stay to the bottom. I've been trying to do it for two, two and a half hours, and nonstop. I got call after call with some of the most fascinating, beautiful calls I've ever had about ministry and about how serious things are. But listen, I want to say something beautiful about slide number 13. You know what the enemy designed for harm, God is always going to use for good. We got to remember that. I need you to stay to the end because there's a really important message. I posted a preacher, I don't know who he is. And he had an amazing message for the church. 56% of Christians voted for Trump in uh, 56% of 40, what's the reciprocal there, 44? 44% of Christians voted for Biden. This is not a Biden versus Trump conversation. Stick with me. It turns out that six out of 10 Christians do not believe the Bible is true. You know, in the book of Matthew, chapter, chapter 24, it says that we're going to turn one another in. He was talking to believers. It says that there's going to be a great and mighty falling away. I love whenever I start talking, it's nice and quiet, and then suddenly everything switches, and a bunch of people show up to talk real loud in a park. You know what I'm concerned of? I'm concerned about the Christians that do not truly have an experience with God at a heart level. I think that we need to start, start not being paranoid. But I think we need to be asking God, Lord, who is it in my circle of influence that needs to stay and needs to go? You know, under the right set of circumstances, there was an amazing video. It was actually a discussion with uh, Jordan Peterson. I think that's his name. He is the professor at a university in Toronto, one of the best-selling authors. I've watched him a million times. I think that's his name. And he said that they did this test and under the right circumstances, Given World War II Nazism, most of us would have succumbed. You see, the Bible says that we're going to turn one another in, that we're going to be beheaded, we're going to be martyred. That doesn't sound very pleasant to me. I have been on some of the most extraordinary journeys with people the last 30 days, up to and including a bizarre, and I mean bizarre experience in a hotel. I had not been in a hotel in Las Vegas since this happened. The hotels are where we meet for business, we meet for lunches, we meet for bowling alleys and theaters. It's kind of our, our culture here in Vegas. There was a friend of our ministry that's important to us all, and he came to town, we had dinner. The first thing I noticed is about 10% of this very high-end chic hotel was probably occupied, so 90% wasn't. Second thing I noticed is the guns, to, you all have seen them, that come up and test your temperature. That is a PSYOPs operation, bearing in mind this is a fake pandemic by the CDC's own numbers. That is a PSYOPs operation to get us conditioned to the mark that will be on our heads or on our hands. It is time for the church to wake the heck up. See how good of a pastor I'm becoming over time? I stay in the right words. Listen to me. The church has been falling apart for far too long. We have pastors with closed churches. We have pastors passing on the deception. We have pastors not warning that Noah's Ark is happening, that this is the entrance ramp. Go look at the Bereshit prophecy. Realize seven years before could be rapture. Maybe, maybe not. Don't debate it here. Don't care. Are you ready for rapture if it happens before, in the middle, after? If it doesn't happen at all, if it happens three times, Theologians believe all those things. I know what I believe, but it doesn't really matter because all that matters is are you ready? No matter what. I begged you to stay to the end, and hopefully some of you did. I begged you to share this. I've been talking to you guys about praying, giving, going, or sharing forever. There is an opportunity for this ministry to go to a platform that would be to capture the worldwide news organizations and have unbiased, unfettered news, to have a podcast studio that would be second to none, to give you access to the food and supplies that are gonna be needed, maybe during the birth pains, maybe even before the final mark is unleashed and unraveled. My question is, are you ready? And what are you doing? I'm gonna get cold, hard, and brutal with y'all. 
I realized what was going on early on. That's why I walked away from business. I've never said this once, and I, I hope I never really have to say it again. I've been living on less than minimum wage for 10 months. I don't care. Let me tell you something. Everybody on the planet Earth, when the currency global reset happens, and you may think this is crazy, but it's reality. And I know this from some of the most power, power-hungry people on this planet have given us the intel. It is happening. We're all going to be set to a whole new increment. You think your equity is real? You think your savings account counts? I know somebody with $50 million in gold in a safe, they don't even know if that's gonna be real. Let me tell you what is gonna be real. Your relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. Four people, four, have funded Life Raft Ministry. I'd love to say their names, but I don't think they're in it to win it for ego. I think they just love this ministry. Four people have supplied 90% of keeping this little thing going. And right now, I need to travel. I need to put together the, the power players. Um, it needs to move quickly because now we know the government could go down in a nanosecond. There are two forces. There's the spirit of the Antichrist and there's the spirit of the Holy Spirit. If you think this is Democrat versus Republican, you are profoundly mistaken and deeply deceived. This is the spirit of the Antichrist, the one world government that the Lord Jesus Christ himself warned us about. And the church is so badly deceived. Six out of 10 of us don't believe the Bible is real. What do you gonna believe when you have to take the global currency? What are you gonna believe when suddenly that temperature gauge is the, is the scanning device for your actual cryptocurrency? Are you gonna fall for that? I got news for you. When the Bible says in the book of Matthew, in the chapter 24, that we're gonna turn against each other, it's gonna be the people that never had a personal relationship with Jesus Christ at a heart level. The Holy Spirit is not giving these people wisdom. Their brains are. You know what it says? You know what the research tells us? That, that if you are emotionally angry, two things. One, it lowers your IQ 30%. You know that the PSYOPs operation was designed to get people, not a righteous anger, like it kind of got it going right now. The PSYOPs operation was to distort their viewpoint, op opinions, and perspectives to vote for the Antichrist client. You got people like Beth Moore under a, just a tyrannical stronghold, a satanic stronghold, because she never got healed from a man issue. Listen to me, church. The end is a nanosecond away. And in God's timing, that's all it is. In your timing, that's all it is. Rapture of the church could happen today, tomorrow, anytime between now and the next few years. You gotta wake up. And I'm gonna put something above this. This isn't a live feed. I need people way more than four. If you can sense and you know, if you don't understand what's going on here with the Lord and you don't have a relationship and you're just trying to figure out Jesus, you stay here as long as you want. Don't do anything. I appreciate your prayers. though. But if you're seeing what God is doing, we need to stand up. I need you to start giving. I need you to join Transform 60 at $100 a month or Zoe at $200 a month or whatever it is you feel led to do. But we got to stop playing games. If you think you can put your faith into anything other than the Lord Jesus Christ right now, if you can put your faith in anything other than the kingdom of God right now, I could snap my fingers and go back into business and do crazy amounts of revenue because I'm pretty good at this online training stuff. This isn't it, by the way. This is me preaching. This is an online training. I can't do it, guys. God has called me into this lane and I can't do this lane alone. It's time for the church to wake up. It's time to press in like you've never done in your entire life. It's time to understand that the world is gonna enter the most deceptive time in human history. And six out of 10 of us are already in it. The church, 96% of everybody going to the church right now has the identical problems as everybody else. Addictions, alcoholism, divorce, stress. God that surpasses understanding has got a rule in our hearts. 
It's got to rule in our minds. Listen, church, Friday the 13th, we're going to use it for God's glory. I need you to join. I need you to get part of this. I need you to be part of God's army like never before. I've never talked like this, but if you were on the phone calls, if you were a fly on the wall of the things I'm hearing in Europe that's going down, the things I'm hearing here, the phone call I just got off with the, one of the world's leading experts on the persecuted church, you would know that we are fighting for our very lives as Christians. We are this close to full-blown persecution of patriots and Christians in America. And you know what? If I go home, I go home. You know what the, the whole leadership team we all got together, you know what the word was? They're going to, if, if we go to this level of this platform, I give you my word, I'm not stopping. I don't care what it costs me. I don't care if it costs me my life. I pray it doesn't. I pray that I'm used for a long time. I have kids and grandkids that I love. I got people that some of you are closer than my own family. I mean, I love my family in a special category. Don't get that wrong. I'm telling you, I'm in it to win it for Christ. Are you? Because we need you. God bless. See you soon.